Okay, as you can see, we're getting the roof put on the lanai garage, whatever you want to call it. They must have got up early this morning. I suppose they wanted to get it done before the sun got too high up there. But as I said the other day, um, it wouldn't take long to do it. And I didn't realize these guys were the ones going to be doing it. But hey, it is what it is. They're doing a good job, I think. I just got here. I threw some uh, food in the pond for the fish and rushed right over here because I seen they're already working on this. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty exciting. Get some nice shade out here. And it is a uh, six meter panel, so it's one panel all the way down, no seams other than in between them. And I have not looked at them yet to see how they, how they just overlap it like they normally would. Duke said they'd have the ceilings in here by Friday because Sankran is next weekend and they'll be taking about a week off. It's great that they're gonna get this in here. We'll have a roof over it. I hate to even say this, but I hope it rains hard somewhere in the next couple of weeks so we can see what that gutter does over there. Let's kind of sit back and watch these guys put this thing together, but like I said, it's gonna go pretty fast. And their full length panels don't have to cut them. Fish look like they're done eating. The pond level's dropping because they stopped letting water in. Good morning from paradise. I already had my morning workout. Uh, about 4 a.m. I had a storm come through. It uh, must have softened the ground up enough that the stake fell over, so we just had to put that back in. Um, but we had a pretty good hard rain. It torrential downpour for about 15 minutes. Um, and then thunder, lightning, rain on and off for the next couple hours. As you can see, it's still overcast. Um, I did not do a closing video yesterday, so let's walk over and see what they got done. I did get the fish fed already this morning, um, so they're happy. The pond's a little cloudy because it had some runoff in it, but overall I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing around the pond as far as water drainage. So they got all the roof on here, and they did not get the flashing on the edges. He's up there working on that right now. I don't know if you can see it or not in the camera, but the facade down there has wet streaks on it where the rain had come in. And there's a couple up here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me get the camera up there. But like I said, he didn't have the flashing on there, so he's working on that now. Um, other than that, not too bad to be expected, but where this downspout is, everything kind of settled in there. But we're going to see that off and on for the next six to eight months, I think. So I've been struggling with what I want to call this thing going forward. Um, the pump house just doesn't sound very glamorous, so we're going to call it shop. All right. So they got the roof on the shop yesterday, and as you can see, they got some of the flashing on around there. They still have to work across the end. Uh, Duke was in last night. I did talk to him about putting a uh, soffit under here, and he's going to do that. There's a few vented pieces. We don't need this vented, but there's a few extra pieces over there. So I asked him to put a couple of them around it just to give it some airflow that'll help get air inside the building. Because as you can see up at the top back there, it's not sealed and it's not going to be sealed. Um, it will be open into the soffit area, but with vented soffits, it'll help let some air through there. I also talked to him about the electric in here. I'm not going to go through all the details. I'm just going to let you know that I'm going to go ahead and wire all this myself. Get all the outlets and everything in. That way I can put the switches for the float tank shut off or bypass where I need to put it. And get all the outlets where I need to put it for where I'm going to put the equipment. And I will use that temporary wire they put in to run to the pump from the controller. Once I get everything set up over here, I will take that wire off the controller and the pump and use it to run from the shut off over there into the wiring in here and then i'll be able to power up all the pumps and everything up and get these guys off the well and get them onto the pressure pump um, we'll do that here somewhere in the next couple weeks but i want to let them get painted first uh, once they get it painted then i'll go in and do my thing the other thing that took place yesterday you see this big vacancy right here this is where those 40 by 40 ceramic tiles were sitting that i couldn't figure out where they went they went to the wrong location is what happened. They weren't supposed to be here. So Duke loaded them up yesterday and took them out of here. Um, I see this stuff is all wet, but I imagine it blew in here last night because it's wet clear back to here. And I don't see anything here that makes me believe this leaked. And now that I look at it, I can see that floor is wet all the way back too. And I know that didn't leak. 
And I did walk through the house this morning looking for leaks, wet spots in the ceiling or anything. I see nothing. So I think we're good on the house. Um, there was a couple little wet spots right back here. There should be flashing on this inside of this facade over here that will come out off the wall and into the gutter to keep the water from going down through there. And I don't know if he's got that on. Like I said, he's up there working on the flashing now. So the other thing that came to light yesterday is this was painted the wrong color. This is supposed to be the light gray, not the dark gray. Um, so they are going to repaint that when they come back and get the lighter color around here. Doing that will make the dark corners kind of just pop a little more, stand out, which is what we want, right? So I think that's all the updates we have from yesterday. With that, I'm going to get in the truck. I'm going to get back to town, pick up some pit. And we're going to get into the market, get that out of the way. Uh, we got a couple other things we got to do run right around town, so I'll probably be back here about midday. So we'll catch you in a little bit. All right, another hot, humid morning in paradise. Um, I made a video yesterday, but I did not make one yesterday evening. I was planning on doing that, but right toward the end of the day, uh, Sabai and a couple of friends showed up. They wanted to catch some fish because they wanted to eat fish. So, um, and then Eddie showed up, and we sat here till right about dark, so I didn't get a video made. But as I said in yesterday's video, we had that downpour the other night and I wanted to demonstrate to you what I was talking about with this back drive when I put in wonky wall. As you can see, no erosion up here, but you can see where it come around the end of the wall and come right down here, through here, and a little bit over there, up there mainly, and down here. This is exactly what I want to happen, but now once I concrete this, there won't be any erosion. This will be a level enough up here, it shouldn't really flow so much, so it shouldn't get too much erosion. Putting concrete here, this won't wash out. The only thing I'll have to worry about is like from here over to the field. Ceiling guys were here all day yesterday, but they didn't do anything, literally nothing. I don't know if they didn't have screws or what the deal was, but they were here all day and didn't do anything. Um, I think Duke may have come through last night after I left and uh, dropped off some supplies for him because I see them over there already this morning. So let's take a walk. But first, I want to show you this area here. Um, as I explained in a video, I don't know, probably a week or so ago, so I'm pitted through this straw down here. I threw some grass seed in it. I've been watering it. Um, but we had that torrential downpour the other night. Nothing here. No erosion whatsoever that I could see anywhere around the pond. Um, so that's a good thing. Like I said before, if we get some vegetation over in this corner where there's exposed dirt, I think we'll be okay as long as we can get that established before the rainy season comes. There's still some low spots behind the camera that they haven't filled yet. So most of the water from here went down over there anyhow. But it doesn't look like anything at all come over this curb, which is exactly what I wanted. And if it does, it needs to go down that hole right there. So recap. Good morning. Good morning. You speak English a little bit? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we got three guys here. And they have gotten started. I can see where they've... Uh, you can see all these ones that were hanging down are trimmed off over to here. And they've got the first couple. They were shoved up against the wall. They got them pulled out in place. They're going to have this ceiling done in the next hour or so. I have not seen sheetrock here, so I don't think they have the material to, to put on the ceiling. There's a few panels left right inside of here, but not enough to do this. Um, and I mentioned in a video yesterday, I believe that we're going to, Duke's going to put a soffit around this pump house for me. I imagine these guys will do that now. They can put the uh, ceilings in the bathrooms. So I'm hoping they'll get this in and go work on the ceilings in there and work on that. And then we'll get some material in here later today where they can get this thing finished up. Okay, so as you can see, they got that piece patched in over there. It looks pretty good. They got this grouted out here from the day before. And they got this laid through here. Um, it appears the next thing he's going to do is head down that hallway. He has been out here this morning. Looks like they got it wetted down, so I imagine they will get this hallway done today. Whether they'll go into that room, laundry room, or the bedroom next, I don't know. But we'll just watch it progress. I don't know. I have no idea what the schedule is again. As I've said before, not speaking the language is always a barrier. It's going to be another hot one in paradise. We will see you later today. As you can see, he's still tiling over here. As you may be able to tell, they finished the steel for the roof out here on the patio. Parking area, lanai, whatever you want to call it. You may also notice is the sheetrock leaning against the wall behind me with all the holes in it. 
And you will notice that that's white sheetrock. You also notice above him is green sheetrock. Come out here a little bit ago and they had seven panels of sheetrock hanging out here. The problem is it's this white stuff, this regular old sheetrock. Not the moisture barrier sheetrock like that green stuff over there. Uh, long story short, got Duke on the phone. Um, within an hour he was out here. He just left a few minutes ago, but as you can see, they pulled this down. One more example of why you need to be on site, you need to be paying attention. For those of you that don't know, the green sheetrock is for high moisture humidity areas such as bathrooms and outdoor areas. Um, obviously they know the difference because they put that up there and I never say anything to them about it. So I just assumed they would put it out here. Well, I come around the corner and see these seven hanging there. And I'm like, Ooh, this ain't going to work. In addition to that, while that subject was on the table, we also talked, I don't know if you can see it in the camera though, about the perforated soffit board material. Once again, reiterated, we want that all the way down this side here. So if we do get any water in there, it has a way to get out. Like I said, one more reason to make sure you're on site and paying attention. With that said, we will see you at the end of the day. Okay, so Tyler's been tiling all day. They finished up the main room, started down the hallway, got to this one here, worked their way back around, across, and then cut up the room this way, and then took that pattern right back out, and he's working his way back up the hallway. We'll show you here in just a second. So they got this all covered up so it's okay to walk on it. It looks like they got about three pieces left here and that hallway will be done. That laundry room is a different tile and so is the bathroom. So this whole section of the house will be done as far as this tile goes. That same tile will carry on into our bedroom, down through the closet. That will be different tile in the bathroom and the kitchen will be different. Um, but he does pretty good work. All right, so we had the drama earlier with the uh, sheetrock for the ceilings. Um, Duke came through after we called him and they uh, they walked through it together. During that conversation I had talked about the vented soffit pieces there and I made the comment that I would prefer to have them along the end too but it's not as important as having them across there. So apparently they took that to heart because while they were waiting for this green sheetrock to show up today they refabricated this corner and the strips along this end to accommodate, you probably can't see because of the sun, let me get over here, to accommodate running those um, soffit boards here and across there. So they went and refabricated this. I'm assuming they're gonna do the same thing on the other end tomorrow. And we'll end up with the, I forget what they call it, Durock or something. I forget what they call it here, but. That will be down the sides, across the end, and back up the other side. And we will have our green sheetrock everywhere outside, which is the way it should have been right from the start. We loaded these guys up on beer, and these guys up on whiskey. Some guy laying on a board over there that just showed up an hour and a half ago. The big guy laying over there. I'm not sure if he's with this group or waiting for something else. I'm not sure. Looks like they brought in more. Oh, that stack he's sitting on is... Uh, stack of soffit board, so they brought that in. I've not talked to Duke yet, but I told Sompit this step here, I was gonna put this spare pieces of this around the edge of this just to make it kind of highlighted so it's easier for somebody to notice it so they don't trip or step off the edge. But what I'm gonna do now, I've decided, I'm gonna go ahead and put that tile out here up on the sides and just change the top of this to that as long as we got enough spare pieces there to do it. Um, that way the top of this will match that and when you're out here even if it's low light like at night it'll be easy to see where the edges of that step are even if you've had a few too many so i spent the last hour over there fishing um i was trying to catch some catfish for these guys but i caught three tilapia a paku and one catfish so i just threw them all back i'm kind of keeping the paku and the tilapia for ourselves but wait a minute four tilapia but anyhow I'm kind of keeping those for ourselves. I want to get the catfish thinned out. I'll catch as many as I can and give them to those guys. So it's coming along. I think they'll still be on schedule with this. They were going to get this done this week, but I think they'll be able to do it. But they spent some time getting this thing rigged up here. Uh -huh. 
Ain't no panel jacks here. So it was a cooler day today, even though it's still hot, um, but it did not hit 100. Kind of breezy all day, so it was a pretty decent day compared to the last week and a half. Um, but now the wind, as you can see these trees and stuff, nothing's moving. It's just dead calm. So the humidity just skyrockets, or at least it feels like it does. You just start sweating because that wind isn't to drying you off at all. But uh, these guys are all working late. Um, they're all staying here tonight. Uh, so, like I said earlier, we did grab them a half case of beer and got them three bottles of whiskey over here. So probably won't get much done tomorrow. I would like to take a moment. I haven't done this in a while, but I would like to uh, welcome all the new subscribers. Um, the subscriber count just keeps climbing every week. Uh, far more than I expected. Uh, but we do appreciate it. And we'll continue to try to put out something a little bit interesting once in a while anyhow. But uh, we do appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. With that, thank you once again from Paradise in Thailand. Good morning, Paradise in Thailand. Before I forget, I want to wish everyone a fun and safe Song Kran begins tomorrow. Um, I did not make a video yesterday, just just the way things turned out. Um, but first things first, my hose popped off yesterday. Nobody noticed it washed all this out. Filled this pipe I put in over here full of water or mud. Um, anyhow, we got it all cleaned out. I filled it all up this morning already. I'm already sweating at 7 a.m. It's supposed to be in the hundreds the next, whatever, foreseeable future. Everything on the forecast is 100 plus. Uh, we'll walk around and take a look at what they got done yesterday and what they have left today. So they started out well in here yesterday. Um, they got eight full pieces laid, uh, seven partials. I guess that's a partial around the post there. And then they just stopped about, what was it, 11 o'clock? They just quit. Didn't do anything. Laid around, sat around. I was wondering what was going on because they were headed home for some crime, so I wasn't sure why they didn't just leave. But 4 o'clock, they finally got up, come back in here. So at four o'clock, all of a sudden they got out and they headed in here. They come in and put this strip around here. The decorative strip, the highlight strip, whatever you want to call it. It is not grouted yet. You can see the mortar in between there, but it'll need to be grouted. But it gives you a good idea what it's going to look like. They put it in these two walls. And that's about where they were at when we left at six o'clock last night. Um, Got here this morning, they were packed up and gone for Sun Crown. They won't be back till that's about four days they're off, I guess. Which is fine, I understand, but I just don't know why they sat around for five hours just didn't do nothing. So the hallway's completely done, grounded and everything. The office behind me is done. There is no decorative trim in this bathroom, if you recall. So this bathroom is basically done as far as the walls go. Um this is a different tile in here and a different tile in the kitchen. So the only thing they got left to tile with this big stuff is our bedroom and our closet. Both bathrooms get matching tile of a different type. Uh, this gets the same tile as the kitchen, I believe. But uh, they'll be back in a few days. I uh, just wouldn't think it'd take more than three or four days to finish the rest of this up. These ceiling guys were here yesterday. And we're supposed to finish up, but I think my change, if that's what you want to call it, out on the Lanai parking area put them behind that three and a half hours waiting for Duke the other day. So uh, they're still here today. They did get this taped and mudded. As you can see, this is all taped and mudded. They still need to put the boards around the outside. And uh, the paint crew will seal those all up. They are now working on the metal for the soffits here. They have it done down this side, this side. They're working down the other side. Um, they'll get that up here in the next hour or two. And then I imagine they'll go through and get all this soffit material hung around the outsides, around here. And then they will call it a day and head home for Sun Kron. A little out of breath, sorry, I was just shoveling out there. Yeah, so it's coming right along. There is no ceiling that will go in this room here, it's going to stay as is with the fancy aluminum coating stuff. 
and it looks okay. I'll go through and repaint that black so we don't have motor and mud all over it. Uh, I probably should have noted they did get the ceiling in both bathrooms yesterday. Those are taped and mudded. So for ceilings, all they have left is this right here and around the pump house. They'll have this done today, and then I got to send Duke some more money.